Patiskum and Fika in Yobe State are facing the worst meningitis outbreak this season, primarily affecting secondary school students. Government Secondary School, Fika, Government Science Secondary School, Patiskum and Federal Government College, Patiskum are the hardest hit institutions, with over 206 students placed under quarantine. Reports from college principals indicate that the outbreak has claimed the lives of 20 students and infected nearly 300 others. Additionally, 112 students were hospitalized but have since been discharged. Trustee Ves Hassan Kohli has a situation report. Health workers have taken urgent measures inside school hostels, quarantining over 200 students in makeshift isolation centers to prevent further spread of the meningitis outbreak. However, anxiety grows as neighboring state of Gombe and Bochi report new cases, heightening concern among communities and school authorities. According to authorities, interview by trustee is not his brief chief. Over 100 cases have been recorded in the school community alone. Currently, 35 patients, including primary school faffles, are receiving treatment at hospital isolation centers. Upon receiving the information of uh, this outbreak, the ministry, in collaboration with uh, that of minister, that is the Minister of Health, we had a meeting with SSG in order to map his strategies on how best to tackle this to secure the spread of this menace. The patient center is open here for facility to curb the menace of this uh, uh, disease. And uh, we admitted about 112 students here. Uh, we have the health personnel from the hospital and the primary health care units. Currently, we have 43 on the ground and 69 were discharged. The Minister of Education was deployed to this very school to see that this problem is over with all form of uh, effort, either advisably or uh, medically and otherwise. Roughly about 214 students came into the uh, facility of which I've seen. And um, as I'm talking to you, we only have about um, eight students left. Gadaka, a community within the Fika local government area of Yobe State, is grieved by panic following a recent meningitis outbreak in the government secondary school while health authorities claim to have discharged the last person with suspected meningitis in the local government. Residents remain fearful of the disease's spread, especially among children in remote villages. As a result, they are adopting various strategies to minimize the risks of contracting the illness. <laughs> We are in panic. As a preventive measure, we stop sending our children to school out of fear that they might get infected. We also try to sleep in well-ventilated rooms, as suggested by medical experts. Right now, we want the government to send us medical supplies. This disease is terrible. It kills people almost instantly. Most of the villagers here are not even close to a hospital. That is why we are losing people before we take them to the General Hospital for medical attention. We have a hospital here in Maidua, but it does not provide us with standard medical care. We lost people to this disease here even before it hit the secondary school. So we are urging the government to provide vaccines and medicines for this deadly disease. The medical officer in charge of Fika General Hospital has announced that the meningitis situation is now under control. With all 85 compound cases have responded well to treatment. However, the public is urged to remain vigilant. Two thirds of the cases we uh, 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 accept are from uh, Gadaka government girls secondary schools. So part of the measure we instituted is to pass information to educate uh, the uh, teachers on how to pass the information to uh, those students on avoiding overcrowding in a uh, very ventilated area to prevent a spread and to report any ailment, any headache, fever, neck stiffness, or vomiting, they should report it appropriately.
Now for the local government area in Gwambe State is grappling with suspected meningitis related dates with the first case reported on February 18 initially leveled as a strange disease subsequent sampling confirmed it as meningitis despite official reports indicating only two cases residents claim the dead toll is much higher urging government intervention to detect and halt the spirit Dalladi Tamaliki, who lost two children within a week, is among the grieving parents. There are no figures on the date or cases at the time of filing this report, as effort to contact the State Commissioner of Health proved abortive. However, the state government claimed on March 1, 2024, that the development is not reaching the outbreak stage. We got two cases from Nafata local government that were positive for Nisiria meningitis. And therefore, the, we have cases of Nisiria meningitis, which is a strain that cause outbreaks in this meningitis belt. For us to declare an outbreak for meningitis, we must get at least 10 cases out of 100, in, in, in a 100,000 population within one district. Therefore, we are at a lot threshold, so we need to do mitigation measures to prevent further spread and to halt it at this level without going into major outbreak. Located in semi-arid climatic zone, the extreme north of Gombe and the whole Yobe state were flagged by the Nigeria Center of Disease Control as an area that requires high vigilance for meningitis. Hassan Kohli, Trust TV News, Gombe.